Hello, and welcome to another episode of Barlow's TV, your local landscape and garden resource. I'm Stephen Barlow here at our potting bench at Barlow's. Now, this is where our designers create those beautiful containers, and I'm here to show you how easy it can be to create this create one of these beautiful containers. I am not one of our designers. I really don't have great design skills, but I'm gonna show you that you can do it, because I can do it. So, but the first thing before we get started is the exposure of sun, whether you have a lot of sun or little sun. I cannot stress how important that is to make sure that you look at the site where you're gonna put your container and you see if it gets six to eight hours of sun, then you have a full sun location. If it does not get that much sun, then you have a shady location. So you have to make sure you choose your plants and our expert staff here at Barlow's can help you choose those plants for that location. So when I say sun, I mean six to eight hours of plus or shade, I mean four or less hours of sun. And then you have that little bit in the middle, which is what we call part sun. So I have right here, I'm gonna do a full sun container for a customer that might not have the chance to water a lot. So I have plants that I picked out that are for dry conditions and they flower in a full sun. So it's gonna be six to eight plus hours of sun. This container I put in a south facing area. So I have right here a soil. It's really important. Just like when you build a house, you have a good foundation as I talk about in all the videos, a good soil. This is a Fafford. It's the same product that we use to grow all the plants here at Barlow's. It has a, a little starter fertilizer and it's a great mix that you would wanna use in your container. So I have about a 15 inch container here and this is a one cubic bag of soil and I'm gonna use probably a one cubic bag of soil for this 15 inch container. So. I'm going to fill it up about three quarters of the way up. If you look right here, it's about three quarters of the way filled up. And I'm going to have my centerpiece plant. This is a, it's called a Diplandini or Amanda Villa. It's on a hoop, so it's going to trail. So it's going to give us that nice height in the center. So I'm going to plant that right in the center of our container. And I'm going to put a little more soil in around it. So I have my centerpiece plan. What I'm gonna do is this is a, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a four-sided container. So I'm gonna work in a circle. So I have the next great drought tolerant full sun plant, Lantana, one of my favorite plants. This is a, this is a simple Lantana. And um, like I said, it likes it hot and dry. So for those of you that don't like to water too much, Lantana is a great plant. So I'm gonna plant them in a circle. And I like to take my tags out. Um, I might put them in a plastic bag or something so I know what I planted in my container. And I'm gonna put them just off to the side. I don't want them sticking in there because they kind of take away from the beauty of the container. So I'm gonna plant them in a circle. So they're a little taller. So we call those our filler plants. Now I have some other fillers, flowering Rinca, another phenomenal annual. It likes it hot and dry, it flowers all summer. And a lot of these plants in here don't need to be deadheaded, which is great um, for those people that don't have the time to work and keep their containers nice and clean. So I'm gonna plant my Vinca. Same thing in the circle, going in that circle pattern. Now I have my fillers. Now I want something that's gonna spill over the side. It's kind of giving me that trailing effect. So what I have here is, these are ivy geraniums. It's, a, it's called the Balkan series. A great, a great geranium that doesn't need a lot of cleaning. It can take it dry and it'll, it'll, it'll fall over the sides of your containers. Now I'm gonna put these in my corners. Plant them right in there. And I continue those around. And the final thing, I really love this plant. Something new, it came out a couple years ago. It's called Misu or uh, it's a trailing plant. It's this really nice pink flower. Another plant that likes it hot and dry. I'm gonna put this in here too so it kind of spills over the side and you can get them in there and it's starting to come together now. So you see I'm not even designer and I think it's coming together quite nicely. So once I have this whole thing planted and I have it in the full sun location, to keep it looking like this all summer, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I fertilize it. What I would like, what I suggest you do, even though the soil has the starter fertilizer in it, I suggest putting some osmic coat in there. So I'm gonna sprinkle some around. For this size container, I'd probably use four tablespoons of osmic coat. I'm gonna sprinkle on the top of it. And that gives me some good fertilizer just to start to get the plant going throughout the season. I also will probably go back with a liquid fertilizer every two weeks just to give that little push. It's like a, it's like a little extra kick into the container. So if you enjoyed watching this can, this episode of Barlow's TV, I encourage you to share it with your friends and let them know about it. And you can check other episodes out on our on our website. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. I wish the sun was out of it. Um, it looks so cute on the video. I like it. <laughs> I'm only saying Can't think you're gonna do it with me, Margo. <laughs> so upset. Smile. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to an episode. Thank you.
Thank you.